Hello everyone, my name is Nopan, and on an I Write Games for Fun, so what are we doing today? Well, today, obviously, we are going to go over a game called Blue Archive. Otherwise known as the unofficial Blue Archive tabletop role-playing game experience. Yeah, go watch Evo. Tell me who wins. And if it's cringe, make sure to tell them it's cringe from your boy Notepad Anon. Yes, everyone, go watch Evo. That's far more important than this. Man. See, I, I thought about what, what's what's Evo. Uh, Evo is the big fighting game tournament. T tell them they're all cringe. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, fighting, that's the big fighting game tournament. And I believe this is this would be Street Fighter Street Fighter Six's first debut at it. I heard they're going to be. Br I thought they were going to bring in like a new Tekken expansion stuff into this one, but like I oh, low tier eats dirt all day long, probably. Like let let let's see. Do we have any notable winners already? Because, uh, secret about me, I actually like fighting game tournaments. Like, fighting game stuff is always, like, really cool for me. I find it really interesting. And, um, you want to know what's also going on? Gen Con is also going on. Gen Con is also happening, but I don't care as much. Let's see, we've got Melty Blood. Fucking Melty Blood is there? Man, they're getting desperate. We got Tekken 7. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, this is Street Fighter uh, 6's first debut. I wonder, do we have anything off the, the main stage? Uh, wouldn't be surprised if the Skullgirl one get a little bit shit, shit on? I wouldn't be surprised about that. Ooh boy, that would be a little bit weird. How much was it for... Uh, Oh no, I don't want This is fucking live from Las Vegas, no less, yeah. Like, th this is at- is this at Mandalay Bay? Jesus. I've actually stayed in Mandalay Bay before. Mandalay Bay is beautiful. It's really cool. And yeah, we got fucking Melty Blood going on. I thought they were doing Tekken... I thought they were do going to introduce Tekken 8 there, but I guess they're just doing Tekken 7. I guess uh, you just want to do the most latest. Fucking Melt is fucking bad. Yeah, Melty Blood is high. Melty Blood is like, they. I know for a while they didn't have like certain anime fighters in it, and Melty Blood was one. I remember that very distinctly. That was like Melty Blood and things like that were a no-no. But uh, I guess, again, I think everyone's kind of hyped for the Street Fighter. You know, Street Fighter one, because it's uh, Street Fighter Six's brand first uh, first kind of uh, set out Evo, uh, which I'm I'm interesting and interested in how it does. Uh, let's check out what's going on in Gen Con. Yeah, Gen Con baby, I love Gen Con. Gen Con's the best. Woo, Gen Con gaming. Woo. How much is it? Single day Sunday badges are seventeen bucks. Not bad. Official Gen Con Merch and Apparel. Woo! Gen Con Gaming. Gen Cono. Hello, Gen Con. You got anything fun and exciting? Oh, God, it's the Marvel thing. They're probably bringing that in, isn't, aren't they? I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of the big thing. Do we have any, um... Unfortunately, we don't have uh, Lubu to, to help us. What is Gen Con? Uh, Gen Con is the tabletop gaming to what Evo is to fighting games. That's like... That's kind of the big thing. It's like, that's where they introduce a bunch of games. That's where we hand out a bunch of awards. It's Gen Con's like a big thing for the tabletop game sphere, so... Uh, is yeah, it's happening right now. It's an indie. It... <laughs> Well, we, I know for a fact we have one person there. He may show up because it is it is after hours, so he might show up, he might not. But uh, yeah, no, Gen Con was a little bit weird because that's where they're going to bring out the Diana Jones Award. 
Uh, yeah, Diana Jones Award. I'm really, I'm really hyped for 2023's Excellence in Gaming Award. I'm so excited. You have no idea how excited I am in which we have a chance of a literal gizmodo journalist. The guy who begged people to, begged white people to buy his game. And though, fun fact, he's not Cherokee. Uh... Wizards of the Coast. I've never even fucking heard of this game. A freeform scenario. And whoever... The, and effectively the guy behind Root and Oath. Those are our top winners, everyone. I'm so fucking excited. I am so... Fucking hyped. You have no idea how absolutely hyped I am for the Diana Jones Award where I want to kill myself. I'm going to kill someone. Yeah, no, Diana Jones. The, 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 it is funny because you have people who are like, yeah, I'm in the tabletop gaming sphere. I really love it. And they're like, all right, so you know, what's your opinion on the Diana Jones Awards this year? And they're like, what's the Diana Jones Awards? <laughs> because it's like such a non-fact. It really is kind of a non-factor. If a major scandal happens there, it all goes up in flames. I don't think that's going to happen. Generally, I if I were to be if I were to make my my bravest guess, my bravest guess is Radiant Citadel will win it. Uh simply because that is the safest option so people don't look very um how do i want to word this it's the safest option because every other one is going to have people look at them being like what do you mean except the one which is like a narrative experience framework game about power of fucking love or whatever it's like oh boy i love it cool I love it so much. I think this is the greatest game of all time, and I'm gonna fucking die. Woo! <laughs> I love, I love the Diana Jones Award. What is the Diana Jones Award? It sounds like the Darwin Award. <laughs> it kind of is. Let's be honest with ourselves a little bit. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so to give everyone kind of a, uh, a a brief rundown of what's going on, this is the unofficial uh, unofficial Blue Archive tabletop role-playing game by no Pat and by me. We've got my my uh, my uh, detective wife, Kisu Kisu, we love her. Uh, me talking about gotcha games more than anything. Uh, then we have, like, our very vast, like, the vast kind of, like, opening lore feel. Feel? Generally speaking, the lore spiel is things are terrible and wrong, but here's a reason why. Uh, now, I do kind of go over, like, here are some lore things what I'm going to be talking about and how and why they are different from, you know, the actual game. Like, why are things different from the game? Because I need to. The main, like, the two reasons I give is Blue Archive operates on a relative timeline. What I mean by that is, to Blue Archive, there is not on August 4th at 8.30pm, no Pat Anon talked about Blue Archive. That is not a thing that occurs. What occurs in Blue Archive is, this event happened now. No Pat Anon is writing the Blue Archive, you know, tabletop role-playing game, unofficial tabletop role-playing game. Previously, he was talking about the blue arc unofficial blue archive tabletop role playing game later on i it will be proceed you know it will be proceeded by no pad anon finishes the unofficial blue archive tabletop role playing game that is how time is done and there's a good reason for it it's because it's a mobile game uh well we've got a i got to say it and your waifu is shit uh thank you very much my waifu <laughs> i i love my depressed uh my, my vaguely depressed detective wife i love the feds uh wait that's not a man tiger no this is manly he's my kaiser man 
I have no fear. <laughs> my uh, my gun runner, my gun runner wife, my gun, my true brother husband. Uh, hello, manly man with an AK-74 and just a grouse. It's great. Tigers are cool. I was like, initially, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make him look like an adult, and he's gonna be like little tiger man. And I'm like, I have no fucking idea how to do this. So I'm like, you know what? No, we're just going to give him an AK-74 and call it done. Uh, it was surprisingly difficult uh, because he looked like Nick Fury for a while. Uh, hence why I had to give him more guns to look more intimidating. But yeah, this is the... We're, we're going to be using Ogata, Miss, Miss Ogata Kata as our... As my waifu in the corner. Because I do like depressed uh, detectives. Truly. <laughs> he looks more like a... Yeah, because I made him look like that. It took a while. <laughs> but uh, generally speaking, like, because the timeline operates in such kind of a weird way, because they need to, because they do not know when you are going to join or when you're going to play. You know, it's like... It's kind of like one of the things is like, I'm kind of basing it off the idea of sense, Sensei arrives. This is the, you know, this is the base point. And we are technically, and you know, technically the, the game itself is, you know, chapter, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, etc., etc. Things happen in effectively sequential order. According to the game, things are happening between time, you know, things is happening between time. However, if you just start and you burn through everything, it could be like, yeah, cool, Sensei, we did all that in like a week. <laughs> but we are setting it, you know, you know, decade, decade, you know, uh, TTRPG time timeline. I am specifically saying we are a decade previously for the two very basic reasons of. There's the relative timeline, and just to keep things easier to manage, so it's a little bit more amorphous, because the game... What I've learned about the lore, and it does the thing that I hate with lore, in just about any of these fucking kinds of things, where it is not in a sense of a year ago, a few days ago, ten years ago. No, it is centuries ago. A century ago this occurred, and it's like... To me, anyway, that fucks with my sense of time. Because if you think about it, I want you to remember. Uh, I want you to remember. Um, a, a hundred years ago was 1923. We were. 1923 is very different than 2023. Very different. And they're like five, you know, hundreds of years ago. I'm like. Bitch, 400 years ago, we were like, man, we can't get across the ocean reliably. <laughs> Wait, isn't Blue Archive the game with a cast full of miners? I'll have you know, not all of them are miners. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let, let's bring up, hello, Nanomi. Uh, as you can see, we have Nanomi here. Everyone loves her. Everyone, kisu kisu, we all love Nanomi. Uh, because I love my women like I love my heavy industrial firearms. Yeah, it's, um... Is there a reason why she uses a minigun? No. There is no fucking reason she uses a literal, actual minigun. Uh, let, let, me, let me just do a quick run-through of some of the characters. Uh, let's click on this girl. Wow. Hi, Sume Serena. How are you doing? Cool. Look, <laughs> here's your fucking AR. Neat. What do you use? Oh, you use an Enfield LA, LA, you know, L85A1 assault rifle with a pink pistol grip. Oh man, it's super cool. That's super neat. You just gun down people with an, with an assault rifle. Hey everyone, let's go to let's go to Russia. Let's go to Russia, everyone. Hey Timo. Hey hey Timo. What do you use? Oh, hello. Hello, Leaden Wife. How do you do? Oh, you use an OTSA 48 rifle. Of course. 
Have you noticed this is the communist school? Uh, oh no, let's bring up my, uh, here's, here's Karin. Hi, Karin. How do you do? And yes, it is, it is a lore point that she's in a maid outfit. This is very important. And I want you to remember, they just, like, students just walk to school with their anti-material rifles. Like, that's always the thing to me that I, like, kind of bamboozles my brain like what what do you do what do you what, what do you what, what's your gimmick oh i use a gun to shoot people and i like burgers <laughs> i'm like that's a fucking myth. there none of them are strictly lollies that's the thing there are very few loll like actual honest to god lollies in this game most of them are just high school girls <laughs> however <laughs> however uh, if you want to be very precise about things, uh, technically Joseph Stalin is a lolly. Very important to note that Joseph Stalin is in fact a lolly, everyone. Uh, she She's one. You may be saying, why does she have a mustache, Notepad? Uh, it's not a real mustache. You could actually remove her, remove her mustache. I don't know why you would, because... It's snow, in case you haven't realized. That's the entire gimmick. Uh, here's a psycho, here's psycho bitch. Hello, psycho bitch, how do you do? She's part of the good school. Yeah, don't worry, she's not a lolly. She just has shotguns. She's just a danger to society. Uh, let's think, do we have any... Do we have any other girls that are are very cool and interesting and very relevant to the plot? Uh, here's uh, Kuda Zuna. Look, everyone, it's Kuda. We all like Kuda. She's a ninja with a gun. <laughs> it's a fake mustache. I take it all back. Mo <laughs> no, Pat, this game is awesome. Yeah, um, Blue Archive can best be described as... Pastel Cyberpunk and the American Dream. Uh, everything is a little bit goofy when it comes to colors and things. Uh, however, you do have some moments where, again, everyone is open carry. You walk, you know, it's as I've described before, you know, in the morning, you wake up, you're an anime girl, and you wake up, you're like, ah, what a beautiful morning. You go, you know, you, you get ready for the morning, you put your school uniform on, you, know, you set your hair just right, you grab your, you know, assault carbine from the, you know, from the wall, and you, you wave at, you wave, you know, you wave, you know, wave away from mom and dad with a piece of toast in your mouth, you're running to school, you might get into a gunfight, being like, this isn't, how could we do the- Oh no, I'm gonna be late for school! As you fucking gun bash a girl in the skull with your fucking rifle and unload a clip into another. Oh no! <laughs> but don't worry, you could just call for helicopter support, I guess, because that's a- Blue Archive has weird ass lore, and I do actually somewhat appreciate it just because it's just a little goofy. Like, the fact that it is as goofy as it is, does actually sell it. Uh... Now, you may be wondering, where are the boys? Don't worry about the boys, they don't exist. Uh, this is, uh, my wife, uh, Ogata Kana. I've, I've, I've resolved myself to enjoying Ogata Kana very much, for one very particular reason. Uh, she is literally just a corrupt police officer. She takes bribes from people. She just doesn't give a shit. She's like, yeah, I don't really care. And I'm like, yep. She's the one for me, boys. <laughs> Finally, a girl after my own heart. <laughs> one with a flagrant disregard for the civility of, of others. Hmm.
The BA equivalent of learning late to class with toast for breakfast for getting your gun and having to make a pipe gun along the way to class. Yeah, pretty much. Because originally, I actually thought... Wait, are you telling me your type is the... In Again, tired fox, wo tired fox woman, corrupt cop. All I'm saying, guys, what more do we really need? <laughs> she can violate my civil liberties. Valkyrie is just funny to me. Uh, that's why I've doubled down on Valkyrie. Uh, because the entire gimmick behind Valkyrie... Valkyrie Police Academy, mind you. It is a literal entire school dedicated to being the cops of this super city. But every single one of them is flagrantly incompetent. Every single one of them is just horrifically incompetent. There is not a single competent one in here, and that really sold it to me. That... That really sold to me anyway. And... Because it's one of those things, like, it's sold to me. Like, do dude, does dudes even exist in this game? There's a gender ratio, like, 24 to 1. Uh, the thing is, there's two options. It's... There are male characters. There are male characters. They are just irrelevant. Are male students real? Maybe. We just... But they... In the current state of affairs, this is the current state of affairs. Every single one of the major schools, which operates effectively as their own independent country inside of Kivotos, are not run by men. Let's just say that. So I've taken it upon myself to write in the fact that effectively men have been completely disarmed and they are so irrelevant to the actual story of what's going on, you can't play as them. They just don't exist. For the purposes of gameplay and the purposes of creating a character, I'm sorry, men, but you cannot channel your Kenergy. Except in the expansion book. Expansion book, you know, for unofficial Blue Archive tabletop role-playing game 2. This time with boys. It's just going to be the Gachimuchi expansion, everybody. I'm sorry. Imagine when they add a boy to Blue Archive and the internet shits it. Right. Are you forcing me to play as a schoolgirl with an AR-15? Absolutely not, G-Travel. I am forcing you to play a schoolgirl with any modern firearm of your choice. <laughs> Can I be bar a black suit? Sorry, this Gachi Muchi expansion pack. Every single game is just a Gachi Muchi expansion pack. So, uh, yeah, I've kind of have like the basics of how I want to do the lore, the kind of like the secondary lore. Like, I need a brief explanation on all the major schools. I need kind of the idea of like the inciting factor, because the main inciting factor of the t the decade prior is. The two main schools, uh, Gehenna and Trinity, are currently are fighting over the contested districts. They are redoubling their efforts because the General Student Council, pretty much the leading government body of Kivotos, has collapsed. They are currently struggling to maintain order, and it's kind of shown in things in like SRT and Valkyrie Police Academy. Generally speaking, order is breaking down, fights are breaking out across the city. And we currently have uh, the Russo-Japanese War and, you know, starting up. God bless the Red Winter Academy. We've undergone the 27th Winter Revolution. Yeah, that is the, le like, le legitimately speaking, it's, we keep trying to do things, but we're going to try to kill one another. And then everyone runs into problems. So, that's kind of like how we're going to do the lore. I might add some more. There's going to be a lot of side notes of me just going off on tangents. But uh, today we're going to be writing on games. So, the basic kind of game that it is is a D100 system. 
Got a split between slice of life elements and combat operations. Oof. Uh, and someone's pinging me. Scrumblo is pinging me. Uh, he's sending me music. Uh, cool. So we're going to do uh, during a when the uh, when the students enter when the students enter a when the students enter a combat situ combat situation. Uh, the uh, the game shifts to in, uh, to combat to combat to a combat operation to a combat combat operation to a combat operation instead of instead of instead of one d instead of a percentile instead of a percentile system. Uh, the students, the students will be ro will be rolling 2d10 under a uh, 2d10. Let's see, instead of a percentile system, students will be rolling 2d10 to inflict, uh, to hit target, to hit their targets, hit their targets, and move and move along and move along, reestablish. Uh, and do move along a battle a move along a battle map move along a battle map uh, most hit the now let's see uh, move along a battle map the uh, the students the students will almost always hit the difficulty uh the difficulty of of a of of hitting a target Hitting a target is directly is directly tied to their ability, ability to protect themselves, protect themselves, protect themselves, as well as being out, being out of position, being out of position. Whenever a uh, directly tied to being out of position, this is covered in more detail detail in the combat operation section. Discovered in more detail in the combat operation section. I want to be very clear, being like there is. We're going to explain this more, but I want to give an idea, being like it is a slight, it is a different system, but using the same dice. Uh, this is D100. This is a 2D10 system. Why is that the case? Because I can do that. Um. So. Mm hmm. Actually, criticals, criticals and fumbles. Uh, luck is actually no. We want to do uh degrees of success. Posed roll success. <sighs> when, oh, uh, whenever the, whenever the, actually, most, oh, most standard, uh, most standard tests, most standard, actually, no, we do not posed to roll those tests, tests and degrees of success. Most standard, most standard tests will, will have the, Student will have the student check their own uh check their own ability with the skill with the skill resolving resolving its effects resolving its effects immediately me yeah, resolving its effects immediately resolving its effects immediately however however if the student is opposed opposed to another opposed to another to another both will uh both will roll will roll the opposing both will both will make both will make a check both will make a make a test uh both will make a test for example for example a stu a student is trying to sneak past sneak past a valkyrie a valkyrie police a valkyrie police officer valkyrie police officer Student, uh, the student will roll survival. So will roll survival. Actually, we will roll recon. 
uh, opposed by the val by the va by the police by the officer by the officers uh, uh, let's see oh uh, let's see student will roll recon opposed to the officers recon it's kind of seeing and being able to hide from it easy enough to understand let me just double check the skills no we'll do we'll do survival uh soon we'll roll survival survival opposed to the officers recon officers recon if the student if the student um uh, both will uh both will both will roll if success if so uh, if one is if one is successful if one is successful and the other is not and the other is not they uh they will they will merge the, they will merge the vi they will merge the victor the student bypass bypasses the unaware unaware guard the unaware officer officer with e with ease uh if both are success if both are successful they will check they will check they will check whoever has the closest whoever it, whoever has the highest value highest value on the die highest value on the die the student roll the student rolls a 50 a 54 54 uh narrowly uh narrowly succeeding narrowly succeed uh, actually mm, actually no if both if both are successful actually do we want to do we want to do the blackjack method or do we want degrees of success are we going to use degrees of success for anything else No. Okay. Both are successful. I'm not really going to use degrees of success for literally anything else, so we probably don't need this. Um. Mm. Oh, I love Miro. It's great. Ugh. People keep actually saying like, "Oh, you should go to Miro and um, like try to get a sponsorship from them because you use it so much." Uh, let's see. Both are successful. Whoever has the highest value, mm -hmm. whoever has the highest value is victorious. Is victorious. Uh, the student roll. The student rolls a fifty. A fifty-four. A rolls a fifty-four. Oh, while the while the officer while the officer rolls a twenty nine, both are success both are successful both are successful, but the fifty four or but the fifty four is high but the fifty but the student uh but the student is better off. The student is better but the student is better off. If if both fail. The uh then a comical mishap then a comical mishap occurs occurs where uh where uh uh then whoever score oh then whoever scores scores the lowest is the uh is the victor in the let's see then whoever scores the lowest is the victor but uh but often in a comical or but often in a comical or a uh, poor in a poor manner uh the student rolls a fifth uh, rolls a 62 a 61 while the officer while the officer rolls rolls a 90 uh rolls a 92 uh the student manages uh the student manages to sneak pa um the student falls on their face. Uh, the student falls on their face as they as they attempt to sneak, attempt to sneak. But the uh, and the guard completely fails. Uh, completely fails to register. Uh, completely. F uh, but the and the and the guard believes believes the noise the noise came from came from an entirely entirely different room. And the officer <laughs> yeah it's kind of like if you both fuck up whoever scored the lowest is successful like you are a comical fuck up 
The goal is to hit as close as possible to the victor. Uh... Mm -hmm. Closer to the results, the narrower, uh, the narrower the the victory, the victory was. Uh, if uh, if both manage, if both manage to score equal results, equal, if both manage to score equal results, uh, the better, uh, the better skill will always will always emerge victorious. Let's see if. Victoria. Let's see. The better skill will always emerge victoria. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Score equal results. The better skill will always emerge victoria. Uh. Mm -hmm. We roll the entire test. In the incredibly small circumstance, literally one in, uh, I believe it'd be like one in 10,000. No, it'd be one in yeah, one in ten thousand chance to for both for them to score equally uh together at the exact same time with the exact same stat. It would be very close. Uh it, it's kind of a the likelihood of this arriving is very small, but you always need to address it because the it, because the second you say I don't need to address it, it will happen. Um if a if a if a student if a student rolls dub rolls dubs rolls dubs on a rolls dubs on their rolls dubs on their skill test on a actually on a actually on a standard test mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's see. If student rolls dubs on a standard test, uh, 66, 55, 44, etc., etc., they have either crit, they've either scored a critical, critical or a fumble, fumble, critical, uh, cri um. If the result, if the result is successful, if the result is successful, the test, uh, the test is a critical success. They go above, above and beyond, above and beyond, and results, uh, the results, and uh, may and may keep the and may keep the momentum. Eh, actually, not momentum, and keep the rhythm. Rhythm of their a, a rhythm of their action a rhythm of a, a rhythm of their action. Uh, this can uh, this can mean that the result is uh, the result is ideal. This could mean the result is ideal done quicker, uh, done quicker, or this could mean the the result is ideal done quicker. Or um, how do I word this? Mm. Mm. Or oh, actually, or makes the next, or makes the next test e, or makes the next test easy, or makes the next test easier. If the result is a failure, a failure, the test, the test is a fum, the test is a fumble. They complete uh, a fumble, a complete miserable failure, a complete miserable failure. Mm. Let's see. If the result is a failure. The test is a fumble, a complete miserable failure, a complete miserable failure. Uh, mm, botch the entire deal. Botch the entire uh test. And make everything and make everything everything worse for them. Uh, make everything worse for them in the long in, in the long run. 
Uh, often, often this means in automatic success, automatic success, mm, exposing them, exposing themselves, ruining, uh, ruining a project, ruining a project, or e or and making and making subsequent making subsequent tests more complicated. Complicated. And making subsequent tests more complicated. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Enemy fire, ruining a project, dun dun dun, then we should do technically if we want to do correctly. Mm hmm. Can I fit the extended tests in one thing? Let's see if we can. Uh, extended tests. Extended tests. Uh, have the have the students work on a longer on a larger scale on a larger scale project project consistently over our over hours hours days uh, hours hours days weeks weeks every time interval every time interval they may make a they may make a they may make a test if successful if successful they mark off they mark off they mark off a success they mark off a success if they they mark off a number of successes a number of a number of successes Three for e, three for easy, four for uh, five for five for medium, five for medium, or seven or seven for difficult. Seven for difficult. Mm. Uh, the project, the project, the project is success. Every failure, every failure, they uh, uh they score. The failure they score will make a will make a failure will every uh let's left <laughs> not enough okay uh we're gonna have to put you down below if we do this we can slap an image right here so we have a little bit of room here but i might put a Okay, so if successful, they mark off a success. If they mark off the off a number of successes, actually, if they mark off mark off a proper, if they mark a mark a proper a proper number of successes, number of successes, successes based on the complication of the pro of the project, they will they will be success they will be successful. If they Fail a number. They fail a number of tests. They fail a number of tests. The the entire ex, the entire project, uh, the entire capital project is a failure. Is a failure and must be and must be restarted. It must be restarted. It's kind of the idea of like if you fail repeatedly, you're going you're going to have a bad time. So you don't want to do that. But it's going to be taken again. Minutes. It's going to be taken hours. Week days or weeks. Like this is a pretty major project. Something with older games, like every game was trying to justify his page count, especially with bigger books, so they can charge more. That's actually kind of the interesting thing I've been noticing with some of the older games, especially like High Colonies. High Colonies was really interesting in that regard because like High Colonies was a hundred and three pages. Like just a hundred and three pages. And it was kind of weird because it's like, wait a second, this game really isn't that big. And I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting because you think like, oh, you know, it would be your know, big games. And we're expecting like some games now to be like 200, 300 pages. Excuse me. Like, oh, a proper game is 200 pages. 
you know, if it's not 200, 300 pages that cover every single piece of boating rules, it's not a real game. But then I look at, like, high qualities and me like, most of this book isn't even actually, like, that most of this book isn't even productive, like, material. Most of it is actually just bullshit. And hell, when I said it was like, oh, it's about 50 pages of game, I was kind of lying. It's more, more about 40. Because, like, the ending of it, like, the last couple pages are, like, not really anything important that makes sense. Like, they are, it's kind of like, oh boy, here's something real small. Choo-choo-choo. I also noticed that I have a, um... Uh, I've noticed that I have a uh, VTuber following now, following me now. Uh, <laughs> I, I I just went to my YouTube to check the channel, and I'm I looked at there, and I'm just seeing a fucking like random VTuber following me. I'm like, awesome! I love me some VTubers. Yes, a literal actual VTuber. Let's br let's bring her up, everybody. Say hello to Little Robot Fairy with 502 videos and 194 subscribers. Uh What do you what do you do? I'm curious. Hello. Hello ma'am. I want to know more. Okay, so we've got Let's, oh, look, she, she, she's going over Sword World. Yeah, she's going over Sword World. That's neat. <laughs> yeah, no, she's just. Talking about Sword World for some reason. Hi everybody. Hi every pony. Hi little robot fairy. You probably found me for the Sword World video. <laughs> Hi everyone. And then What What? Yeah, she's She's playing Sword World. That's cool. <laughs> See, this is the content that you come to my YouTube for, everyone. You come to the- you come here so you can... 10, 10 hours of streaming in VR chat. That is 10 hours far too long. Where are you? Tell me- tell me more about your channel. Little tiny- little tiny fairy woman. I mean... She's got to be on Twitch, right? Yeah, she's on Twitch. She's streaming right now. <laughs> How little we knew. She is streaming right this very moment. <laughs> uh, Flower, uh, the sound of war. Oh, yeah, let's raid her, all six of us. No, you have to stay here, damn it. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a little, I'm gonna, have no fear everyone, I'm just gonna gaslight her a little bit. Don't worry everyone, don't worry, we're just gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of gaslighting here. We're gonna just do that little, do that little follow right there. Go follow little robot fairy everyone. Have no fear, look everyone, it's a me. Time to leave now, like a like a wisp. They'll never know. They'll never know that it was secretly me, the racist. <laughs> me, the belligerent racist. They must never know. See, that's the real secret.
Ah. If only there was some sort of video evidence. There are five people watching right now. I doubt anything productive will happen like that. So let's see. Um, let's see. We want to do insert table. We need to make it a three by three table. We do distribute, center it. Um, Colomenos. What if I do one? What if I do 0.8? Uh, and we do difficulty, difficulty, uh, successes, failures. Uh, but we didn't mean to hit N. Um, dun 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 They must never know. See, I tried to, I like, the thing is, like, I should follow more, like, try to find more, like, VTubers in my little sphere and being like, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a cool guy, cause I'm like, I'm gonna be with the cool kids, but they don't realize I'm just a fucking psychopath. Mm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I already have these. Here, so it's easy, average, hard. Mm. You need two, pretty much you need three successes, but two failures on that. Uh, three, four, and then five. Like it's very easy to fail some of those later ones. And like, that's the maximum amount of failures uh that then we hit this then we hit not that then we hit this then we hit the gritty i have no fear everyone i'm hitting the gritty for you i can say that everyone as a proud slav <laughs> i've lost all sense of right or wrong that's the that's the real secret everyone Unless we reduce it down to eight, but then we can shrink it down to We can shrink it down like that a little bit, and then we can be a little bit more aggro. Agro. When you get rid of this, it would look like that. That looks a little janky. Or we go all the way back. And then we just center this. We center this entirely. We center this entirely. Maybe we bump up the size a little bit. And then we can put a big side note. Let's see. So we've got our slice of life elements. We've got our combat operation. We have what opposed tests are. We've got criticals and fumbles. We've got extended tests. What is the thing that drives you up the wall when it comes to games? For me, it's when, it's when people go. That's not realistic and screech about historical accuracy. Well, the wizard right next to us is casting anime magic. Uh, generally speaking, when it comes to game design, a shit ton of meta currencies. I hate having a shit ton of meta currencies. No game is improved by having more than like two of them, and that's pushing it. Usually, what happens is like people put out a bunch of different, like, oh, I'm gonna put out dozens of fucking. Meta currencies, and that'll make things a lot better. Like, no, it won't. It will never make it better. Why do you think it will make things like, oh boy, this is super fun? Like, no. Ooh, 
Who are you? Hello. Hey, you. What have you subscribed? I'm very impressed. Uh, when it comes to like just a game game, like just sitting down there, uh, nothing really. I'm usually pretty cool with things. I do have a big thing about keep up the fucking pace because <laughs> it's like getting really bogged down of like, I'm going to go to the shop and haggle with every single shopkeeper. I'm like, wow, this is going to be fucking annoying. <laughs> okay, so we've got the basics of what we going to do is do this. We're going to insert a table of contents one to one. So there we go. Put all this, we've got all our basic information that we need. We can put two images down. Here we'll probably put a vertical image right here. And we'll probably put a, a horizontal one like right here to kind of give a good idea what's going on. I feel like there should be another thing that I'm missing, but I don't know what it is. So instead, what we're going to do is, um, Mm, how do I want to word this? This is, um, what would it be? It would be, um, welcome ceremony. Um, How do I want to, not welcome ceremony, it would be pretty much the idea is like, oh, well, we're like, welcome to the school, pretty much. Welcome to your brand new, welcome to your brand new PMC, effectively. Like, um... Welcome to high school. Mm. Welcome to high school. Go back to high school. Mm. After graduate, after gra after graduating middle, after graduating middle school, the students, uh, the students are actually no. Uh, after a after a semester of testing of testing cram schools uh, actually of cram schools visits visits and uh tests and testing the students will uh, students will enter the will enter the gates of their brand of their brand new of their brand new school as first year as first year as first year students. Actually, would it be first? I have, uh, okay. As first, uh, brand new uh, school, um, they will enter the gates of their brand new school as first year student, as first year students. In Kavodos, in Kavodo, in Kavodos, this is, this is signing, this is signing, um, mm, this is signing up for, uh, actually, I guess I don't really talk about it, because the thing is, there is exactly one middle school student, uh, like middle school student blue archive. There's exactly one middle school st student. There is one. Uh, and it's the shopkeeper. It's the, um... The, it's, she is the... Sora is the only middle schooler. 
in the entire game. She's a junior high school. She works at a convenience store. We don't know how old she is. <laughs> if there's an age on the clock, she's ready for the Glock. You see, you're, uh, you're thinking correctly. Like, I don't think she actually has a firearm, but she could also be, like, 12. <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah, it's like, what? Do you, what? What? What's her like gimmick? Like, what does she do, do in the game? She sells you things. That's. She literally runs the shop in which you, probably gonna roll your gotcha. How is she a part-timer if she works 24 hours a day? <laughs> like... Yeah, so that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Uh, this is the only middle schooler in the entire... in the entirety of Blue Archive. Outside of your AI companion friend. Uh... Buy every... buy your gotchas. Buy your gotchas from the middle school, girl. So, actually, um, after after a semester of cram school visits and testing, the students will enter the gates of their brand new school as first year students. Um, uh, depending on uh, depending uh, depending on the depending on the school, the initial the initial few day the initial few days uh, will initial few days will determine uh will be will be drastically will be drastically different uh the initial few days will be drastically different mm -hmm. uh let's see a trinity has extensive onboarding onboarding processes has extensive onboarding processes um uh, and with uh with third years See, has extensive onboarding processes with third years uh, uh, teaching, uh, third years teaching some basics, uh, teaching the basics, uh, the basics of the school, of the of the basics of the school. While Gehenna, while Gehenna has, uh, Gehenna has an extensive, has an extent, has an extensive hazing ritual, hazing ritual which first years, which first years are press ganged. Which are press ganged into clubs to serve as to serve as foot soldiers, foot soldiers or cannon fodder. Uh, foot soldiers or cannon fodder. Regardless, uh, regardless of their current state of their current state of being, regardless of their of their initial. Uh, regardless of their initial reception. Uh, the students, uh, the students will, uh, the students will, uh, the students will need, need to fill out, will need to fill out their, um, student record sheet, student record sheet to keep track, to keep track of their attributes, skills, skills, and, and ability, and abilities in, and abilities in the field. Extensive hazing rituals. <laughs> Uh, which I'm going to quickly go up here and find my little reference mark because I'm just putting little reference marks up. Like, I'm just putting like ref. I'm gonna put a big reference mark here because I don't know, nor do they really care to tell you because that's irrelevant. 
it is quite literally irrelevant to the situation of how people go to school in this game. You know, literally, <laughs> literally the entire premise of the game. Does Blue Archive just not do much world building to the extent the, uh, that adults are speculation? How do I want to word it? How do I want to word this? Blue Archive does have extensive world building. However, it knows it is a gotcha game. It knows, fundamentally speaking, you do not give a rat's ass about any boys in this game. It, you, it does not matter. You do not want to see them. They don't want to show you them. They don't matter. They don't want to show you adults or anything like that because they aren't important. They don't want to show men at all. They don't want to show anything like that. To them, that's irrelevant. That is unimportant to in the largest degree they want to show you the bare minimum to get across the idea that that's kind of the the kind of the uh, the concept they want to show you the bare absolute minimum to get across the information and then you have characters like oh here's the uh this 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 um like some of the like delinquent girls and stuff like you have like road workers and but like a majority of the like citizens of Kavodos are these guys. They're just dogs. Why? Because they just don't want to show adults. Like you'll be walking to school and there's just a fucking robot there. Why? Because there's just a robot, man. They, they just do not want to show you any of that because to them it does not matter that makes sense it is it is irrelevant because then you have like villains and stuff like this is the main like chief villain black suit because he has a black suit he's important to the plot but we can't reveal too much of the plot uh you end up with like a bunch of ai stuff going on uh Technically, uh, Galcode and Declame, I'm not even going to pronounce that. Yeah, I'm like, hey, they're a fucking terrifying eldritch horror beyond the colors of time. Why is there an eldritch horror beyond the colors of time? Because they're fucking evil. It is not that they don't. Not like, oh, they just don't, uh, they're just dumb or whatever. It's that it fundamentally doesn't matter. Like, it does not matter how they get to school. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter who their parents are. It does not matter. And because it does not matter, why would we bother telling you about it? Like, legitimately speaking, there is only one confirmation that people have parents. There is one. And you want to know what the one confirmation is? Uh... Nanomi here lives with her parents. Many of whom are extreme personality. Although she hasn't said it herself, she's the daughter of a very rich family and most of the snacks council come from her allowance. It is quite literally, like, quite, this is an important, you know, note. This is the only reason we fundamentally know that there is, that people have parents. This is, she is the only reason. I'm too used to gotcha games lore dumping for multiple paragraphs because they're made by visual novel writers. And that's the thing, they do lore dump. Because, like, you know, like, it's one of those things where they will tell you the fact that, like, Trinity has had three, uh, like, three Christian, like, a three, uh, you, you know, uh, fuck, I'm gonna pronounce it. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, These things, the uh, I'm gonna uh, you met 
you uh you come you come you come seal like how do you fucking pronounce this pronounce ecumenical 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 ugh. ecumenical councils like trinity has had multiple of those and there's three as those three literally are the foundation of the school understanding of how they you know are approached the, the Kahena incident and are redoubling our efforts and the Treaty of Eden, which is an entire huge thing they talk about. It is extensive what they talk about it. It is very important the way they talk about it and the way they want to know about it. But again, it's one of those things where they also never mention at any point the girls' parents. They, they never talk about the girls having parents, none of them. They do not fundamentally talk about the fact. Uh, not one of them has ever... The game has gone out of its way almost to not mention the fact this woman has horns. This girl has literal actual horns growing out of her head. They don't talk about it. It's unimportant. That's the joke. There are entire like cat ear girls and things uh, even like Ogata has the, you would think like, oh, those must be important, right? No. They, they aren't important. It, it is, it is completely just not talked about that she has ears, that she has fucking fox ears. Oh, she has houndy, that it's just unimportant. Like, that's the, <laughs> that's the joke, <laughs> like. Ta-da. But yeah, like, <laughs> that's almost the joke. Like, l why is the literal Oni has a grenade launcher? Because it just because she does. They don't mention the fact that she's an Oni. One of the main like people working for the General Student Council is quite literally an elf. She is just an elf woman. And they never bring it up. They never talk about it because it is that unimportant. <laughs> like, that's the funny thing with Blue Archive. Because they do not there is no logistical lore. That's what I call it. I call it logistical lore. They do not talk about kind of that back end lore at all, almost. So what's the important parts they get lore dumped on? It's like the history. It's like the storylines. Because I believe there's like four or five chapters of actual like story going on. There's a huge amount of, like, stuff in that regard getting talked about. How, like, each of the schools operate. And there are stories behind for, like, each of the girls and stuff. But, like, again, it's one of those things where you don't address, like, a key thing that's, like, the game is like, oh, who cares? I don't, so why should you? Like, they don't, they fundamentally do not talk about the fact that some girls have, like, PPSHs. They don't talk about where the guns come from. That is just unimportant. And I talked to another Blue Archive set, a set of Blue Archive fans. Of, like, okay, like, I'm trying to find out more lore about this, try to find more information about this. And the general answer I got is, it doesn't matter, don't think about it. And I'm like... It does matter because I'm writing a tabletop game, and if you don't bring that up, girl stories except when they go home during winter break and summer, those that isn't talked about. That is not talked about. We don't even know what happens when you graduate. That's the funny thing. There are there is no indication of anything of what happens when you graduate. We don't know. We don't even know how the fucking halos work technically, because to the game it's like it doesn't matter. Like, oh, like, technically the entire game is taking place over, like, a month. 
Like, <laughs> it's very short amount of time. Because it doesn't matter how long it takes. Because if you were being like, as if it was like exact time, like it's been two years, half the girls have graduated already. They're, they are out of circulation, except they're not. And there is no winter break or summer break. There's multiple holiday events, but we never talk about it. Like, because just as... Again, it because there's no timeline. You could finish all of the content. Because that's the funny thing. It's just like, you could finish all of the content in a month. Or you can take two years to finish all of the content. Or maybe you don't finish any of the content. And you play, like, once a day for a year and get through chapter one. That, like, Blue Archive is built around the premise of it is this locked-in set of time. You don't have to lore dump about the background if the time scale is very small. But that's the thing. We don't know the time scale. Because everything is a reference... Everything is a reference timeline. I kind of explained this earlier. But it's kind of the idea of, like... Events do not happen at a date. Events are not August 4th, 9.30, Notepad Anon talks about Blue Archive lore. That does not occur. All that occurs is Notepad Anon talks about Blue Archive lore. What preceded it is we worked on Blue Archive. What will proceed it is we're going to finish Blue Archive. There is no set of time between those events. Because the game doesn't know if there will be any time. It could be no time. It could be in three. It could be in two months. It, it does not fundamentally matter to the game. Uh, because it's a gotcha game. And it's really funny how the lore has been written in such a way to fundamentally... I wouldn't say fuck with your sense of time, but like, it is built to be a gotcha game. The timeline is because it is a gotcha game. It exists in a quantum state where no one will ever graduate because it is a gotcha game. And that's the point. Good morbing. Uh, so when I say it's like it, it takes place over about a month, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. Time is bad because it means your anime girls might age. And like, we can't have a birthday for anybody because they'll be older. And F and you know, Fago works one to one with IRL time. Yes, however, this is the big thing with like Fate Go or whatever. It is the way those games present themselves is like, oh, if you don't play for a month, timeline is quote advancing, but not really advancing at the same time. That's kind of the that's kind of the joke. But also, Fate Go are all heroic spirits. They don't age. None of the heroic spirits age, really. In Arknights, everyone's on a death now and everyone's ready to die. Like, no one really, it doesn't really matter if people age as, as much. Even if they don't age, it doesn't matter. It, it, that's kind of the, it's kind of the weird thing with Blue Archive, like, the more you delve into it. Is, like, the time, there is no, like, hard timeline, really. Again, it's just... This is the reference point of things occurring. Things will proceed and things will proceed it. There's a, that's the only thing you must know about it. It's kind of like um, the only confirmed death happened about a year ago. Uh, it happened about one year ago from the from arrival of Sensei. One year ago from the arrival of Sensei, IRL time was three years ago because it, uh, you know, Ark Knights opened. Yeah, not Ark Knights. Um, Blue Archive opened up. Weird Fate lore quest. Since Titan Moon, Fate, and Raildex, and Raildex share a universe. Railed. They don't. Raildex doesn't sh share the Fate universe. That not that I know of. Like, I don't think they don't share. I don't think they share any. Yeah, rail decks, they do not share a timeline with, or they don't share anything like that. Type Moon and Fate share a universe. Even though that's kind of a weird way of just saying the Type Moon universe. <laughs> yeah, no, right, rail decks is not, sh not in the uh, Type Moon verse. If you want it to be in there... 
Impl the magic institutions are the same and implied to be the same universe, I think. Implied by who? That's the question. Implied by who? Implied by rail decks? Mo and the thing is, like, it's not like they're very unique. Like, like, oh boy, the Catholic Church. I've never seen the Catholic Church before in an anime. Oh no. Like, oops, like, I've never seen that one before. No, they are, I, they are not connected in the slightest. Uh, they probably share some names, but not much else. <laughs> it's, if you want to know what Imagine, what Imagine Breaker would do, Image Breaker would do to a Noble Phantasm, the answer is nothing. Noble Phantasms are not magic. Like, that, that's one thing you have to remember about Imagine, like, about Noble Phantasms. They are not magic. They're technically, if you want to get really technical about it, they are manifestations of the uh, Third Order of Magic. That, that's the, that is the entire concept of a Noble Phantasm. It's the manifestation of the soul, which is the ultimate goal of wizards. You want to find the ultimate, final manifestation of magic. I've also realized that I have green leaves on this shirt and I have a green background. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed that before. <laughs> but yeah, have no fear. Uh, what's the name of that anime where a bunch of students are in purgatory after school? Uh, Angel Beats. Uh, Angel Beats is very good, and I feel very sad anytime I watch it. Your soul, my beats. Disco Elysium. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um... Ooh. Mm, a student is, uh, a student's attributes are the core foundation of their abilities and are the let's see the students attributes are the core foundation of their abilities allowing them to act a uh, core foundation of their abilities mm. Mm -hmm. They're represented by the... Actually, do we want to call them attributes? No, it's... um. Subject skills. Uh, students attributes. A student's... A student's subjects. Subjects... I don't know how to word it properly. I'm probably change the name on that. Student subjects are the core foundation of their edu... Are the core foundation of their education. When they... When they graduated... When they graduated middle school. Uh, middle school... They have... Uh, they have... They have... Mm, mm, they have established their talents, their talents and their talents and, and they have established their talents and ability and ability. They have established their talents and abilities entering, entering into high school, entering in high school. Uh, there are there there are five there are five subjects there are five subjects for every for every student there are five subjects for every student. Mm. Or five star. Or five subjects for that every five subjects that every student is graded is graded. On. It's, Um, 
My current theory is that uh, Kavotus is just a simulation AI database where you know the plot holes are just plot holes. Uh, if you want to be really precise about something, if you want to be really, 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 really deep lore fucking conspiratorial, uh, because they show one scene right here, actually, right around the Sanctum Tower. Uh, if you notice real quick, if you notice very closely, you'll realize that the sky is full of halos. Uh, technically, like, even if you kind of see over there, you kind of see very lightly. It's a little bit hard to see, but, uh, the sky is filled with halos. And one thing we do know about halos is that they not only keep you alive, uh, they also endure. That's kind of the big thing, and they endure, and they endure very, fairly, um... Fairly deep supernatural aspects about things. Like, is this the official map? I don't fucking know. I'm kind of I'm kind of vague about the uh, actual <laughs> the actual map because they just don't talk about the map at all. Because that's also another one of those things we just don't talk about. But um. Effectively, if you want to be go for more of a supernatural angle, uh, Kavodos is just an endless, kind of an endless summer situation. We will always go to school, therefore we will always go to school. Uh, not exactly like we're trapped in purgatory hell, but more like, hey, we've, we can't really escape our, our destiny at this point, so we're kind of, Kavodos is trying to save itself, and it's doing that by making sure things work properly. Hence so why the General Student Council President, whose name you don't even know, sends you back in time as an isekai character cross dimensions to save the timeline. Because that's a th that's the inciting factor of Blue Archive, don't forget. You literally get sent back in time to save the world using the power of modern military equipment. And bunny girls. That is the, uh... It's one of those things, the less you think about it, the better you'll- the happier you will be. It also really does not help that they, um... They refer to things with the grand, grand and intoxicating innocence of hundreds of... It was... How do I want to... How, what was the... Uh, what, what, what was it? It was... Um, they, they explained certain events as happening hundreds of years in the past. So there's two situations, either time doesn't really advance and time is kind of irrelevant, or at one point during Kavodan history, uh, girls would like roll up on each other with fucking muskets and start blasting one another. Like full on, like just fist fights in the streets. Like, ima imagine a bayonet charge in the middle of the streets, effectively, in the endless city. You know, form ranks. <laughs> form ranks, ladies. <laughs> God made, God made men and I'm in Winchester made them equal. Let's see, there are five subjects uh, every student is graded on. Table, table, one, two, three, four, five, dink, dink, doink. Oh, uh, we've got the... Uh, civics, sciences, technical... Physical and drill. Gee, Susie, what are you going to school for? 
Oh, I'm doing really well in my marksmanship training. Because that's like one of the things you have to remember about good old Blue Archive is like, you just kind of can bring your gun to school and that's just kind of an accepted beast. That's just kind of an accepted thing. Like, yeah, here's my AR-15. <laughs> Let's see. So, Sivaxos. Sivikos. Sivikos. Por favor. Um... Mm. Uh. Mm. Military training and discipline. Mm. Fitness, uh, fitness, physical education, physical education, and fitness um uh physical fit uh physical fitness fitness and ability um students ability uh students understanding understanding of conventional of conventional scientific scientific thought scientific thought which is say sciences and technic and technical, which is um mm. Mm. adaption um mm. It's not great. It's always hard, like, how do you explain the concept of... Like, how do you explain the concept of strength? How strong you are? Like, that's... <laughs> like, yeah, it's your physical fitness and ability, uh, understanding of conventional scientific thought, and technological development. Uh, technological development and adaption. Each... Each of the subjects, each of the subjects is great. Each of the subjects, uh, student, mm. Let's see, yeah, the student has a default of Actually, we do, each student has a default. Uh, each student, each student begin has, let's see, each student has five times, uh, I don't want to just do like, oh, you have 2d10, um, five times plus 1d5, 1d10, uh, How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Because the idea is like, this is going to be informing your initial, your initial, like your base skills. Like my, my initial thinking would be like, your, it's going to be like your um, attribute times and like your attribute times like five for your like base attributes. We do that. Having like a five means a twenty-five. I guess we can do that. 
having like a two in something means you have a 10% in it. Not very high. Hmm. Let's see. I don't I don't work with D one hundreds on kind of thing. Okay, so each student begin uh, each student has five, let's say not fifty, fifty's too fifty two generous. Thirty five, thirty five divided by five. 35 divided by 5, divided by 5 is going to be 7. We do 7 times 5, that's going to be 35 in literally everything. You tag a few skills. We bring it down a little bit, no. Hmm. Hmm. Feels like I. Hmm. How of, um, what was the last D100? Hmm. Technically, no. That would be, um, Zombies and Ziggurats was the last D100 game I really worked with, but that one was a little bit weird because it was, uh, also a T. <laughs> that was also a, uh, OSR game, so maybe that's not the best one to reference. Um, what am I looking for? Mega Men isn't, I mean, I guess we can look at, kind of looking at straws. Sixty-five among one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sixty-five divided by seven. Mm. What do we want a normal? What would be a normal person? We do five times five. Five times five means twenty-five and everything. We're a little bit above normal. So I say thirty. I say 30. Each student has 30 points to distribute. Uh, that's 30 points to distribute among all of their, among all of their, among all of their, um, among among us, among their, among their subject, among their subject. Each has, each has a, mm, that's these, 30 points to distribute among their subjects. Each subject, each subject will uh, will grant a will grant the starting bon start the starting bonus of skill of skills by its value its by a rate by um rating um subject times five subject subject times five uh, by subject times five. The the minimum the minimum uh, the maximum the maximum a a subject can be the maximum a subject a subject b is maximum a subject can be is ten to be to uh, is ten to begin with uh, ten to begin with with a minimum with a minimum of zero a minimum of zero. You have a zero that quite literally means you are fucking hopeless in everything. You have a zero percent chance of succeeding. Uh, that doesn't feel right in the slightest, by the way. And that feels really weird. Don't know how to fix it, though. Because if we're making, like, let's just make um, a really... Do we have, like, a very basic character that 
can maybe make um there we go why don't we just make apricot um if we make um and an apricot there we go just for very basic characters civics real physical sciences technical we already know we want her to be very good at drill she's not very good at talking with people so that's 12 points we know she's up to 18 points um actually if we want five to be the That's 25. If we get 30, we can distribute five more, make six everything. So if we want to say, we're not very good at talking with people. We're really good at fighting. So now currently we're at 12. Physical, we're going to be pretty good at physical. So that's 12, 18. Not the best at science, it's 22. And technical, we have like an 8. -ish. So if we want, so that's... 30 points. Her stats seem really fucking high, though. And if we... Add thing, though? Like, if we go here, like, an easy check would be 30 for her. An easy check would be 20. A technical check would be 45% for her. That seems really low now as well. But she would have a 15% in diplomacy, in speech. In speech, 15% in history. Dice are popular. Hmm. You know what? It's 10 o'clock. It, it, it is 10 o'clock. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call it here for today. We got a lot done. It may not look like it, but we did get a lot done. We did get a lot of the, like, actually how the game's going to be working. Hand it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this hammered out. I'm pretty sure, like, fundamentally speaking, it shouldn't be difficult. But it's also me, and I'm going to overthink it and have to do some stupid math behind it. And it's one of those things where I just want to now just, like, just sit here and, like, look at it. I'm like, hmm. Unless anyone else has some good ideas, I'm all ears. Please. Because it feels like it's too high. Like, it, it feels like these stats are both too high and too low. Unless I change, like, what the base amounts are, maybe? But I feel like if I change the base amounts, that's not gonna work, but then things are not gonna work elsewhere. But everything is informed by whatever your attribute is for your starting amount, and now I'm very sad. So, I'm gonna call it there. Thank you all. Godspeed, good luck, have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, most likely this weekend, we'll probably do a stream tomorrow late, probably be a Bastard Bond stream. Uh, just to kind of start hammering that uh, next week is going to be entirely blue archive 24 7 we're going to punch our way through as much as we physically can the only thing that i'm a little bit hesitant about with blue archive combat's going to be wonky i think and i also think that uh how do i want to work i think combat's going to be a, a, a bit wonky I think that's going to take a little bit longer than I have planned, but I'm going to just sit down and deal with it. I'm ready to go. I am... <laughs> Damn it, Sterner, no, bad. Uh, tomorrow I have the interview with Mildred. I don't know if he's going to stream it or not. I will probably record it, uh, because I'm me, and I live in a one-party rec you know, recording state. So, yeah. I believe...
everything's gonna go fine. Uh, Sunday, maybe we do something, maybe we don't. Kind of depends on the situation. Next week, we will probably do Shadow Dark. Don't do a JonTron. I have... The thing is, I have absolutely zero idea what this interview is going to be like. Not a clue. Uh, I am... Color me interested. Sterner, it looks like you need some correction. Get over here. Get over here, Sterner! Correction needed! Whee!